Okay, so we're ready to connect to the connect the electronics. We're going to start by connecting the uh, the three main axes um, stepping motor drivers to the to the motherboard. So the motherboard can send output signals to the to the drivers. And we're going to use these uh, connectors. We're going to connect these connectors to the individual stepping motor connectors, stepping motor driver connectors. The first driver to be connected will be the x-axis driver. Um, I have the machine laying down so we can see this uh, driver and we'll cut a length of the of this cable so we can get a pretty short um, run from the driver to the motherboard. Since we're working with only six pin connectors, we'll only need six wires so I'm going to cut um, make a slice where there are six wires. I'll keep the red wire so I know the orientation of the actual connector. So counting from the red, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. And once these are cut, they can just be stripped off. So we've taken off four from a 10, 10 wire ribbon cable. Let's count it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we have four. To attach the wire to the connector or the cable to the, to the connector, just slide the, the ribbon cable into this slot. This may be separated, so you might want to, you might have to actually separate this or install this afterwards, but you can actually take this off. So just put it inside. You can have a little bit sticking out if you need, unless you don't have enough ribbon cable. You just close it and you're going to take some of these um, pliers. You just take the pliers and you're going to press the, you're going to squeeze so the metal pins inside will puncture the, the wire and make a connection. That's it. <clears throat> and you can take off the extra wire if you want. You use standard snips for this. I have a clean cut. The other end of the wire should be oriented the same way, so the same pin should be getting the same sort of red wire here. So it's good to just uh, make sure that the connector is going to be. It's good to make sure that the connector is going to be oriented oriented the same way using this uh, connector portion of the connector, so it's oriented correctly. So take the next one, which is like this. Slide it in just like the other one. But in this in this case, I'm going to find out how long of a wire I need before I do this. I'm going to go ahead and connect the wire I just created into this end. And then I'm going to take it around and I'll see what kind of length I need, making sure that I'm not going to block any of the other connectors that I may need later on. And I'm going to be going to this one. It's called the X-axis, the one labeled X-axis. And I'll simply take my connector that I have and making sure that I'm oriented, orient, orienting the connector in the same way where the the red um, the red wire is going to the the same pin as the other one and then i see where my cable is i might want to have a little bit more slack and then all i have to do is pinch it at this location i'm going to make sure that i have the cable as perpendicular as possible and there i go and now just snip off the end and that's our first connection so while the machine is in this position, I'm going to go ahead and wire the motor to the to the motor wires to the um the, yes to the step, stepping driver and using these four leads here. For this connection, I had to purchase a connector that has a pitch of 0.156 inches, looks like this, and the crimp pins look like this. So I'll be putting these crimp pins on these leads here uh, to be able to get this connected. First, I'll need to break off four of these. I'm going to be using a tool like this to crimp, but you can actually use a pair of needle nose pliers or something else to, to crimp the end. I just put the back end of the, of the pin inside like this. Then I take the wire and I insert the wire into the, into the pin, making sure it's not too far in. Crimp down. Once it's crimped, then you can slide it onto the, the connector. And this way, you'll have a little um, clip here in the back that'll snap into this rectangular location. As you can see there. And then when, when all of them are done, it'll just slide onto this location. And you, what you'll want to do is, is, with the motor, position the first pin here with the first um, 
connector and the second connector goes to the second pin um, which is actually labeled which is labeled on the drivers A, B, C, and D. So that would be A, B, C, and D. And this will also depend on the motors that you will have, because it may actually have um, six wires or four wires or eight wires. And there will be um, multiple ways to, to um, wire this up. finding that I need to use 18 to 22 gauge and then the 24 to 30 gauge to be able to do it properly. It doesn't get enough, it doesn't get enough um, pressure on this, on the 18 to 22. If you ever need to take these out, you just have to push on this little pin and the wire will come out and you can re reconfigure. Okay, and that can be plugged in. And now we have a connection. And now we have a motor to a the motor driver connection. And now we'll do the do the same thing for each of the other motors and drivers. So I'll plug the, the new wire into the Y-axis, go in this way, and then the other end I'll plug into the motherboard after I figure out how to route the, the wire to the motherboard. For the Y-axis, I'll probably bring the wire, the, um, the signal wire through the back here, and then I'll use a wire tie to route the wires, the Z and Y, back down to this wire tie to the, to the motherboard. And using these wire ties here, these types of wire ties, you can get them anywhere. They allow you to to lock it and then release it using a little tab that's located here. Remember that you want to keep the same orientation for the for the connector. So I have my blue and green to the right. I'm gonna maintain that same orientation. So knowing that the blue and green side is oriented in this direction, I'll go ahead and put my connector on there and just slide it on until I get it close to the motherboard. And this is with the door closed, or nearly closed. And it needs to reach the y-axis right here. So just crimp it. Now I'm not going to keep this plugged, but just to show the routing of the wire. Now I'll do the same for the Z-axis. As you can see, I have the X, Y, and Z connected. I have the X connected to the uh, stuffing driver. The Y is connected to the stuffing driver to the back of the, the back plate, and the Z is connected. Before we can connect the motor wires to the stepping motor drivers, we need to consider something very important, and that this machine has moving parts. The Y axis is gonna be moving back and forth, or left and right, and the Z axis is gonna be moving up and down. And we have to consider that when routing the wires, because the wires, if we um, bring the wires taut, then you wouldn't be able to have the Z axis moving up and down. 
And if we you know, tied them to a location, then you wouldn't be able to move the, the Y axis at all. So you have to find out first where you're gonna be tying the, the wires so you'll get full motion out of the machine. You can see that if we put it to somewhere like here, you'll see that we have full, we'll have full motion and we still have um, we still have to put the wires into the stepping motor driver. So let's consider a location for that. I am inclined to route the wires through the base here and I'll still be able to get full when I bring enough wire out. I'll be able to get full motion. Probably want to move the, the z-axis all the way up to find out what's your maximum amount of wire that's going to be used. <laughs> So this amount of wire should be sufficient. Since we know the lengths are good, we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and crimp the the wire ends for the motor. The sequence was brown, orange, green, and blue. Okay, uh, now the now for the Z axis, same thing. So now you can take the Y axis and plug it in. And I'm, I'm routing it under here so it can be tied later. This is the Y axis. Then you have the Z axis, which is a longer wire. At this point right here, I want it to be as rigid as possible. I don't want this to be moving in or out at all. So I'm gonna use a wire tie to, to keep that in place. I'll just use the legs of the ant to tie this together and underneath. And just tighten this. And then you can bring it out as much as possible, allowing a little bit of, or as much um, wiggle room as possible, but allow as much wire back here as you can afford. So there'll be space for the axis to go back and forth. 